everybody, and welcome back to Dissecting a Vampire. This time we have with us the beautiful Madeline Bay, and she is a returning dancer. Last year was her first year, and um, I think that you guys are going to recognize her. She's definitely a new favorite of the Terpsichore dancers. Hi, Madeline. How are you? I'm good. How are you, Heather? I'm good. Have you had a good year since I saw you last? Yeah, it's been way more normal season at Valley Idaho and um it's it's been a really nice year happy to have spring here excellent so uh tell us where you are I mean you just kind of told us but tell us about where you dance and how you got there and where you're from okay so like Heather said this is my second season with Terpsichore I currently live in Boise Idaho and I've been a dancer with Ballet Idaho for 10 years. It's been a decade. And I recently was promoted to a leading artist. So very excited about that. Um, yeah. And I'm excited to be coming back to Turks Square this summer. We did a comedic program last year. And uh, what was your favorite piece you danced last year, Madeline? Probably the date. The date. Uh, okay. Yeah, I think so. And I think the crowd's reaction to it made it even more fun guys were were great she came with um Daniel who's also from Ballet Idaho and we are sad not to be having him this year but he is off choreographing in Italy is that where he's he'll be in Italy yep how exciting and that was something he was supposed to do last summer but it got delayed right exactly yeah right so when we had our shows last summer it was like the first time that so many of the dancers were able to like be in a studio without masks and be in front of a live audience and all of that. Was that the case for you guys? Had you not really had a chance to be in the studio much? Yeah, that was the case. And um, it was so refreshing to, to not have to be masked. I mean, we were obviously a small group and everybody was vaccinated. So that made it just really nice to just take class without the thing on our face um but the biggest excitement was definitely performing for a live audience um ballet idaho did a completely digital season in what was that 20 2021 and um it was it was hard. It was really hard because there's no response from the audience when you're performing for a camera and it doesn't feel like, I guess we would finish, you know, that's a wrap. And it didn't feel like anybody really saw what we did because you don't get that reaction from the live, uh, the people in the, the seats. So there's just, there's just nothing else that's like being live theater. It, yeah. It's special, but we are going to be in a theater this year and doing a big production, not just a little production, but our biggest production that, that we that we do. And we're really thrilled to be pulling Vampire back out. Um, so you you did all that comedic work for us last year, and we saw that you have the comedic chops, right? So this year, she is not funny. She is not funny at all. Hey. Madeline is, is playing... Miss Aubrey, who was orphaned as a child. Her parents were killed and she was brought up alone in some big, depressing, gothic mansion with her brother and a priest and didn't really have any social interaction with the world. And then her brother leaves her alone. And then when she finally gets out into the world, she becomes obsessed with the vampire and uh, she's yeah she's not light-hearted really she's uh she's dark so what are you what are you excited about with this role um obviously we're still telling a story right like we were last year and I think last year the world really needed to laugh which can be just as challenging as telling like a very thought-provoking story to get the audience to feel happy um this year to have such a dramatic performance with crazy sets and beautiful costumes and a, a very lovely choreographed uh, ballet, Heather, I have to say. As soon as I saw it, I was like, why do you not pull this out more often? It's so good. Um, and the role of Miss Aubrey is also very dark. I think it's going to be very interesting to tap into this character that is so emotionally 
complicated and dark and um, just kind of gets darker and darker for her as far as where she's going. Um, but yeah, to dive into the depth of the character and just choose how I'm going to portray all of the scenes that she's in because I think there's a lot of ways that it could be interpreted. She is kind of icy, but I think that there's a lot going on under the surface for Miss Aubrey. Thank you so much for spending your time talking with us today. And I cannot wait to get you back here and see you again and get to work with you again. And I think you're gonna bring so much to this role. I think it's perfect for you. And I'm really excited. Yeah, awesome. So everybody, remember we are signing off here, but keep an eye out for the next upcoming episodes. We'll be interviewing more dancers and learning more about the ballet. So get those tickets and we will see you soon and make sure that you come and see live theater because it's just not the same on a video. All right, thanks. Signing off. Bye, Madeline. Bye, Heather.